I heard that. Chad just called me from the office at school. He and his friends were clowns and were disrespectful today. Oh my gosh, I remember this like it was yesterday and you look so big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there is no such thing as a family, a home that is free of dysfunction. look for yo I'm talking to you yo what was that scuzz for you taking care of your pet yeah a real pet um, I've just been sitting here enjoying being with Eve just quiet I'm like this is just really nice I've been writing I've been um, I've been a little emotional sometimes as I'm writing I'm like it like brings stuff to the surface that you're like I hid that a long time ago why is it coming up and bubbling up and it's like it's just an emotional process but I feel really good about what I wrote and I'll, I'll like sit and write and I'm like I really nailed it today like I wrote so much and then I look at how many words I wrote and I'm like oh I wrote two pages in Google Docs like that's like nothing but all together I have 250 pages written. It's just gonna be a really fun process. I'm really like enjoying it and it's gonna be a really beautiful piece of art when it's done. So as I'm enjoying this like ambiance, I get this text message. It states, it's from Kevin. Chad just called me from the office at school. He and his friends were clowns and were disrespectful today. He was given two choices. Have a parent come in with him tomorrow. Um, not going to happen. I can't do that. Or miss a day of school. I told them that Chad will stay home tomorrow and work for his mother. <sighs> While I can't deny I'm going to really appreciate Chad's help, he's going to finally take down that Christmas tree and I'm going to make him clean out the garage and all of this yeah. Why is she so funny? I heard that. <laughs> Why are you so funny? Who are you? <laughs> Evie! Why are you being so funny? I like it. We um, just pulled up to Eve's dance. The kids are not home from school yet. I'm not looking forward to the kids getting home because I don't know what kind of feeling is going to be in the house. Sometimes days like today kind of bring on tension that is not very fun. And it's not fun to vlog on days like that, so I don't know what it's going to come. Eve was just getting out to the car and she was crying. Crying and crying and crying. And what did I say? I said, Eve, you're crying right now and you're not hurt. You didn't fall down the stairs. You, you're not scared. You're, you're just crying and whimpering like a dog, but, but you're not a dog. You're a person, a little girl. And you can tell me like, instead of crying, you need to use words to tell me. Because I was scared of you because you were being so mad. You got to me even more crying. What was I? I was mad at you? Never get into play on that laptop. Oh, that's what it was. Because you wanted to play on the laptop. That's why she was crying. And I wasn't putting up with the whimpering and the crying. I just said, I'm not going to put up with it. And if you don't stop, you're not going to go to dance. And then I took a deep breath and she went and got her shoes on. And I came back to her and I said, look, Eve, you are old enough to be able to say words and tell me how you feel. So let's practice. Just tell me what you're thinking, what you're feeling. And she stopped crying and she said, mom, I'm sad. I was like, that's awesome. Not that you're sad, but it's awesome that you told me what you were thinking. And so she stopped crying. She stopped throwing a tantrum and we're here. Let's both go inside. Let's both go inside. Okay, let's go. I'll follow you, lady. I'm not a lady. Oh, but you are. 
She's so stinking cute with those little legs and giant boots. Okay. How's it going, you guys? Good. Is it going good? Abby's giving me a thumbs up. Social happiness. How do you feel like your science project is coming? Good. It's coming great. I kind of basically told the kids they weren't allowed to have any more fun until their science project was done. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. You guys are no fun. Keep up the good work. <sighs> Oh my gosh, is this a picture of you? In sixth grade. Oh my gosh, I remember this like it was yesterday and you look so big. Oh my Here. gosh. <laughs> it's <is> too perfect. <laughs> That's back when I used to like cut your hair. I refuse to do it now. But that is seriously so Is this on your Instagram? Aww. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I haven't looked through these in forever. I probably- I'm literally copying up for this. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. How come this looks so much different than the, your um, chart that you're doing now? Have you been diagnosed with depression? All those people said no. But the difference on this is different than it was last year. Let's get you caught up if you don't know what we're talking about. Two years ago, Chad did a science project and he pulled YouTubers, our viewers, 34,000 of you answered questions saying how much time you spent on social media, how many hours you spent exercising, and, and then if you felt like you could be experiencing depression, and he measured those. But the interesting thing is though, doing this poll two years later, I'm surprised that there isn't such a huge difference. People are using Snapchat less. And using and using YouTube a lot more. So in two years since we did this, twenty percent of people that have been diagnosed with depression watch six hours of YouTube. What do you guys think? Do you think social media causes sadness, or do you think people who are sad find themselves being attracted to get on to social media? What comes first, the chicken or the egg? My grandma always did fried chicken for breakfast. Who has fried chicken for breakfast? This is the weirdest thing ever. And they would have eggs for dinner. That is so crazy. And they would have salmon and steak for breakfast. They were farmers and I don't know. And they, they had had to waffles have waffles and bacon for dinner? Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Kevin's been trying to eat healthy and he's been wanting to eat cheese as his fat and uh, fresh vegetables. So I just put them on a plate, but I ate a piece of cheddar with a piece of broccoli. Life changing. You will never need a, a veggie dip again. That is so good. Like I'm gonna eat it all the time. Is it not a party in your mouth? Come on. Looks like melted cheese on broccoli. I know! Which is like, hello, amazing. Pretty good. Yeah. I hate raw vegetables. Hate raw vegetables. Um, but I love cheese, and this is good cheddar cheese with a vegetable. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is amazing. Mm. Not to interrupt this lovely dinner, but I wrote your chore list on the board for tomorrow, um, Chad. Is make bread on there for his teacher? Um, that's a good idea. You should well, take her a loaf of homemade I, bread. I have uh, to do homework. I understand, but we can we can still fit in a batch of bread tomorrow. No, she doesn't even brush her hair anymore, teacher. 
I'm not in sixth grade anymore. I still act like I'm in sixth grade, but I'm not in sixth grade anymore. I will make the bread while you do the chores on the board. We will put it in a plastic bag and you will give it to her and apologize for just, I don't know, being, being loud or laughing at being a kid. I've been since kindergarten, yeah, I know. <laughs> Yep, you're gonna have to learn, Chad. You'll get it figured out. Well, I, I won't. Know. I know you will. I know you will. You'll figure it out. You know what my goal is? Your what? I'm gonna get in trouble one time before I graduate. I've never gotten in trouble before, so I have no bad standings, which means I could do something really bad and still be fine. You have a lot of credit sitting in the bank, and Chad keeps making withdrawals. <laughs> what, Russell? Today at the last recess, when we were lining up, my friend, he kicked the ball. He was going to kick it into my hands, but instead, it hit, it kicked me into the nose. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sherry informed me that her children are not going to act like Hanyaks no, in school. No. My children will have a maturity level of a 30 year old as soon as they're out of the womb. They're gonna be born with a maturity level of a 30 year old. Good luck with that. I have learned not to overreact to things, but to stay calm. It is gooey. It works maybe 80% of the time and 20% of the time. I'm the one bugging. I freak out and I just don't vlog those moments. But today, today I vlogged Kevin. You vlog those moments today? Today's been a really <laughs> good day, honestly. Awesome. So I, I hope you all viewers, you appreciate the last <laughs> view into our lives. Unfiltered. Unmitigated. Yeah, there were a few things today. I'm like, I should filter that, and then I'm like, you know what? Did you break that glass? No. Why'd you just drop it into the sink? Rinse it off and put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> um, what was I saying about unfiltered? Um, hey, I. Where are you going? Get Mom, back I over there and get it done. You don't sneak out of the kitchen. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, Russell wants extra chores. Ah! You scared me. All my siblings are scared. <laughs> That's I'm, not, I'm not scared of you. Are you gonna That's because you were coming out of the womb with the maturity level of a 30 year old. No, I like you. Or at least you thought you did. I'm not scared of you ever. You aren't? You should be. Oh, you okay. should be. Are you scared? <laughs> so sweet. So okay, sweet. Russell, um, I'm going to count to five. And if you're not putting those I get in the dishwasher, I get the you're going to go downstairs, downstairs and do work for me for the next yeah, yeah, 40 minutes. Ready? Yeah, One, yeah, two, yeah, three. Yeah, what are you doing? Hey. Oh. oh. Okay, I am gonna put this camera away. I just want to say this and let it be known. There is no such thing as a family, a home. That is free of dysfunction. Every family has some level, somewhere dysfunction. Doesn't mean you have to accept it and don't accept it if it's abusive. But you know what? If it's surface level, I try to overlook it. Okay, you guys, good night. Thanks. Bye.